I got home and I've kicked straight into research. It turns out that George Ezra is actually playing a gig in London tonight. So I managed to pull some strings and spoke to a friend of mine who works in press and I got some tickets. So I'm just gonna head down there and hopefully I can get to George and get Helen the answers she needs. So wish me luck, I need a shower. Okay, so managed to get press access. Um, George Edwards' dressing room is literally just there. So, look, it's now or never, isn't it? <laughs> Wish me luck. Okay, so unsurprisingly, <laughs> it just stopped me going in his dressing room. Uh, so I fled to another little area at the back. I ain't stopping that easily, Helen. Okay, so update, I'm waiting here for about an hour and a half now. I think I'm just gonna stick it out. At some point, he's gotta come from there and go to the stage. I'm an optimist. Okay, guys, so I just, uh, I'm just leaving George Ezra now. So I couldn't get to him. I knew if I could appeal, he's a nice guy, like, I knew if I could appeal to his sense of, like, his decency, then he would have done it. But I just couldn't get to him. Unfortunately, okay, right, I'm signing off. Bye. I obviously was saying about how we need kind of expert advice on this. Yeah, yeah. So I've reached out to a professional who can help us. His name's Andy. He's ex Scotland Yard. Really? He's like, yeah, he's like helps with like fraud. So I sent Andy all the information. So he's gonna be well versed in how to help Helen best. Amazing. That's great, man. So we're gonna go and see him now. All right, so are you going to direct me as to where we're going then? Yes. Yeah, take a right here. So I do have something else. Oh, so, Jesus Christ. So last night where you got sort of tucked up... Yeah. I went out, OK? Without me? Yeah, I went to Finsbury Park. Oh! And George Ezra was playing. You're lying. <laughs> I managed to get a backstage pass, and I got to George Ezra's dressing room, and his team immediately saw me. They were aware of what I was up to. Oh, Eva. And they just basically said, I'm sorry, we just can't help. Has he hit you back on DM? No, I got aired. He aired you? He aired me. Oh, my God. Though we are both being humiliated left, right, and center Literally. on this one. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm getting a call. I don't know, no number. Hello. Hi. Hey. Jessie. Hi, Jesse. How's it going? We're doing good. Good. Yeah, hi, guys. Hi, Helen. What's up? Mum didn't think this was that important, um, but I just thought it might help the investigation a bit. OK. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll let her explain. I didn't think it was important because it isn't kind of the same thing. I don't know if all of this is connected, but a few days ago, I had this call from a loans company to say they put some money in my account for my loan application. The what? Right. And um, I said, no, I haven't applied for any loans. And they said, oh, well, uh, we just put £26,000 in your account. Wow. And I was like seriously panicked. This is happening at six in the morning. And then I got this call from a policeman who um, works with serious organised crime. Right. He's got in the yard. Uh, and he said, yeah, we've got this um, loan fraud going on. So you had this money in your account, and what did you do? What did they ask? They asked you to try and. He, he, to he told me to move it out into a different account. I said, you know, 
just do this really quickly. So I just did it because it's only six grand. I haven't got that to cover. No, um, it's a lot I'm of money. I'm responsible for that. I mean, this kind of is raising some red flags for us. Yeah. Look, we're speaking to someone who we think might be able to help with this. Um, so hang tight and we're going to be in touch, OK? Yeah. Thanks, guys. You've been so helpful. Thank you, Helen. Bye, Helen. How crazy is that? This sounds like she's been scammed. I feel like this is really serious. Like, yeah. we've actually never had anything like this happen before.